Hello, let's cover some frequently asked questions about M water and solstice. Number one, sites and surveys, what's the difference? Sites are a key concept in M water and solstice and they mean any location or facility that you want to monitor over time. And each of these sites is provided with a global unique identifier called a unique ID. So it's always going to be unique, separate and identifiable. So these mean things like water points, boreholes, hand dug wells, and so on, health facilities such as hospitals, clinics, schools, meaning primary schools, secondary schools, universities, agricultural sites, forests, etc. Things that are in the world and where it makes sense to capture that information once and maybe track it over time. So we strongly recommend using sites and then linking surveys to them to allow for easy recurring data collection. Sites also mean that you only need to collect basic information, such as a name and a location and a photo, only once. You don't need to do that every time you visit the location. Also, with our site infrastructure, we make it easy for you to choose to make site information available to other stakeholders. You don't have to do this, but we do make it easy so that as mapping goes on and more work gets done, a better picture can be generated overall of what's been done in the space of water, sanitation, hygiene, or something else. Here we see an image of how you can link sites together and then keep continuing to collect survey information over time. So then you can ask the M Water database, well, show me this community or this water point. How has it worked over time, given that we've visited it many times? So that's a key difference between sites, which are these one-off locations, and then surveys, which are free-form data collection uh, forms that you can design yourself and connect to sites. Next, sites and assets. We have a fairly new feature called assets, which are similar to sites and belong in sites, but they're better suited for tracking entire systems. So an asset would be something like a component of a system. Uh, in terms of a water system, it could mean a valve, a pump, a storage tank, a generator, a pipe, and so on. And there will be other kinds of asset systems as well. So whenever you're thinking beyond an individual location, individual thing, take a look at assets. Then we often get asked, what's the difference between M water and solstice? We often talk about the two somewhat interchangeably. Well, basically they are the same system, but with different brands on top. So they talk to the same database and the same server. If you create a login in M water, you can use it in solstice and vice versa. But they're basically different layers of paint on top of the same system, different brands. M water is recommended for water, sanitation, and hygiene work, and it does prioritize those features a little bit in the interface. And then Solstice is really the sister platform for everything else. We see users using that for health projects, education work, environment, poverty alleviation, and much more. So that's the key difference to keep in mind. It's really the same system, but with different branding. Um, for example, if you are <coughs> working on the environment or education, and really nothing to do with WASH, then you find the platform useful for yourself. Well, it's difficult to tell your colleagues that, hey, let's use mWater to track this project about uh, getting girls better education. Instead, Solstice might be the better choice there. So the next question we often hear is, how much does it cost to use a platform with so many features that mWater and Solstice have? Well, the answer is usage of mWater and Solstice is completely free. That means you can add unlimited users, you can collect as many sites and surveys and assets and pieces of data that you need, as well as as many images and so on. So this is all free, there's not going to be a limit. We're really aiming for this overlap that you see here between a system that is both free to use and easy to use. You do not need a tech expert to run an open source piece of code on your own server that is handled for you. Neither do you need to pay for somebody to host and do these things for you. But we still keep the usability of the entire platform as easy as we can. So usage is free. The question that we then often next hear is, well, how is that possible? What is the business model of Solstice and MWater that allows it to be free? Well, the simple answer is that 1% of our user base keeps the platform free for the rest by investing in the platform, its continued features, and some advanced customization. In other words, mWater and Solstice are increasingly a digital public good, which has a big reach, 
combined with small costs. We aim for this kind of virtuous circle where we produce free high quality software that keeps the platform growing in terms of adoption, more users coming on board and existing users using the system more intensively. This expanding user base makes it an attractive option for many governments, many large organizations, and anybody interested in sustainable solutions to data management problems. So that is a main way that we have gained investment in developing new features for the platform. We then take those features, work together with these partners, and make them part of the open offering for all users, which then keeps the platform relevant, cutting edge, and also free due to this funding, which then drives the adoption even further. So this is a cycle that has been working for over 10 years. Other elements in our business model include a lean, highly skilled team that keeps the costs down, plus secure and robust cloud architecture that keeps unit costs low, even as the use expands strongly. So to add another million surveys to our database really doesn't add much in terms of cost, and we do not need to maintain large teams uh, that collaborate because the architecture serves the whole world. In addition, we do do increasing amounts of high impact work, such as high level collaborations with governments to build management information systems and international organizations uh, in helping them make the most out of the platform and also in, on occasion building these management information systems and work in an advisory capacity, uh, customizing the system or helping think through how to really make an impact at scale. So this is the way that we have been able to be sustainable for a long time and aim to continue to be so, and the future does look fine. Okay, so we have a free cloud-based system, and we often hear the question, well, what about data security? I'm collecting all of this, let's say water information or health system information in the system, uh, what's happening to it? Fundamentally, the data you collect belongs to you, your organization not to M-Water, not to Solstice, not to anybody else. You decide who gets to see it and how much of it you share, if anything. And that data is secured with the latest technology based on the cloud and the best cloud providers we can access. We also have full data backups and point in time recovery, meaning that if data that you collect has been synchronized with the server, there will be a backup of it. And if you accidentally delete data you did not mean to delete, you can get in touch with us and we can recover it. There are many facets that go into improving our data security, for example, high security encryption in the transmission of data, our database being stored in a modern up-cloud hosted cloud server, regular backups to backblaze, and the database only fundamentally being accessible to authenticated users securely through our API server. You can read more details from our data security policy, which you can access on our website or through this URL, go.mwater.co slash data underscore security. The key thing to keep in mind is that we're really aiming and, and seeing uh, cases where you might have a bespoke local system that is actually more vulnerable, where you have a local computer running if it is running hackable and accessible. Whereas in this case, we are able to leverage all the best global expertise in keeping uh, data as safe as possible and also making sure data doesn't get lost uh, accidentally. If you have any further questions on data security, feel free to get in touch with us. So then we often also discuss collaboration opportunities. For example, a partner might say, okay, Mwater is a good overall platform and it's got a big, big set of features, but I've got three special use cases in mind. How do I customize it exactly for my organization whilst making sure that my team has all the required skills because we want to make this a key tool in our platform? Well, in that case, you can talk to us about custom configurations, which speak to exactly this uh, specialization of the platform even more to your use case, custom trainings, or in some cases, if you like the platform, but see that there is a gap in what you want to do with that, then talk to us about developing new features in a paid collaboration. And if you are using the system at a large scale or intending to, we also do collaborate on management information systems built on our tech stack. So let's look at these in a little bit more detail. Custom configurations are basically our first tier of collaboration as a paid package. And it's perfect when you want to scale up and water use at your organization, uh, get the most out of a customized app 
and get direct support during the engagement process. It comes with a number of elements uh, with a one-off fee, 25,000, and it includes a number of app configurations with lots of options for you to adjust the app workflow, make it very tailored for your organization and show your custom branding. You also get to configure and cache sites so that you can be sure that users will always have what they need even if they go out to areas of poor internet connectivity. And as part of this package, you will get three days of tailored consulting with us, which is training or workshopping, making sure that you can administer these custom configurations over time, and we can give you intensive training on any topics that you might want to learn about. So many of our partners have found this a very useful package. Uh, it's only a one-off fee, doesn't add any ongoing costs. And here on the right side, we see some example partners that have uh, engaged in this kind of partnership with us so far. For trainings and new features, I'll mention that the vast majority of our users just refer to our online free resource center or video channel or training center to learn everything about the platform that they need to know. Here are the links for that. You can go to portal.mwater.co and look at the resource center. You can look for mwater on YouTube or you can directly go to training.mwater.co where we have structured training courses that are intended to replace uh, our presence in terms of remote training, just having a structured way to complete uh, either a portal or surveyor app uh, training and get a certificate at the end. If you want further customized training beyond this, but not a custom configuration, feel free to talk to us at info at mwater.co. Similarly, if you have a need for new features in the platform, well, know that we are constantly updating the platform. Here we illustrate the amount of updates in just recent weeks and months. Um, and the current platform features that we have exist because some users in the past have found the need for them and have worked with us to cover the costs for us to iterate and develop these features. A key aspect of how mWater operates is to make these features then available for all users, uh, benefiting an ever-growing user base. In this case as well, if you have some idea uh, suggestion of a set of features, please do talk to us, get in touch, and maybe we can make these features available for everyone. And finally, at the largest level, you can talk to us about management information systems. These are sustainable data management systems built on top of all the capabilities of our tech stack. They're really ideal for high-level data processes such as government-level data management or large international organizations or coordinating between them. So I can lift out some examples that we've worked on recently. National data management in Haiti, national water data management in Uganda, and a multi-country water service provider collaboration, the m and &E component of it with Azure uh, CRS. You can check that out from the link here at the bottom, azurewater.org, or look at the uh, ongoing work uh, that's publicly visible uh, for the Uganda government system at rumis.ug. And really, the sky is the limit with these customizations. We are able to go uh, deep into customizing the features to fit your use case based on our technical knowledge and experience with similar management information systems designed to really last and be maintainable over time. Finally, probably our most commonly asked question is how to reset your password. Uh, if you forget, well, you can just go to the app at app.mwater.co or on your device or go to the portal, go to the login screen, enter your username or e email, and then click forgot password. You will then get a reset link in the email. So a key component of this, of course, is that you have a valid email with associated with your mWater account. So if you are an administrator watching this video, please do check if your users have this so they don't accidentally lock themselves out of their accounts. Make sure they have a verified real email address and you'll always be able to reset your password. But those were some of the most frequently asked questions about mWater and Solstice. If you have any more, please leave them in the video comments or email us. And do also follow us on social media if you want to keep up to date on our latest updates in terms of where the organization is going and what new features have been released. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.